What is up kiwis and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be making some feta cheese tomato pasta. So right here I'm just drizzling some olive oil into my dish. And we're going to be adding one pint of clean cherry tomatoes. And just like that we're going to give it a nice swirl and add our garlic salt. And I also added some onion powder. So we're gonna give that a good mix and make sure that our tomatoes are nicely coated. And we're also gonna be making a small little hole in the middle so that the feta cheese can be nicely tucked inside. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so that you never miss one of my videos. So right here I'm just making sure that the feta cheese is nicely tucked in the middle but you guys can also use a block of feta cheese and you would need four ounces of that but right here I just used four ounces of crumbled feta cheese. So we're going to top that off with some olive oil, some crushed red pepper and some oregano leaves. And then last but not least we're going to be adding about five cloves of garlic but you totally do not have to add five cloves. So now we're going to place this in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes and then we're going to broil it at the end. And in the meantime, I'm going to be making some chicken. So right here I'm just seasoning it with some garlic salt, some paprika, some black pepper, some onion powder, and yeah. And once we're done seasoning our chicken, we're going to be adding some freshly squeezed lemon. Alrighty y'all, so now we can cook up our chicken. I just have my skillet here that is nicely warmed up. And we're going to cook it until it is nice and ready. And so now that our chicken is cooking, we can finally, finally make the pasta. So right here in my boiling water, I added some salt and half of the box of pasta. Alrighty you guys, so this just got out of the oven and all I'm doing now is smashing up the tomatoes and the garlic and making sure everything is well incorporated before I add the pasta. And once it's nicely incorporated, we can finally add our pasta. So here it is, and if it's a little bit dry, feel free to add some pasta water or some chicken broth like I did here and just incorporate it. Here I am just topping this off with some freshly cut basil.
we're ready you guys so there's our feta cheese tomato pasta that i topped off with some chicken breasts and yeah so i really hope that you guys like this recipe if you liked it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe down below and i'll see you guys in my next video